uh, the conference had so much energy. I, you know, the second I sort of walked into that big room with Gloria Steinem's keynote, I could sense that the women there were so excited to be gathered together and have a moment to sort of step out of their usual traditional work lives and, and reflect and learn and sort of celebrate where we are. The highlight for me was really seeing the intergenerational groups in my workshop dialoguing. Um, I was uh, speaking about intergenerational dialogue, so I figured, why not just do it? So we kind of immediately got together in groups of three and shared stories and, and listened each other into speech. You know, it was really a space apart from the usual kind of workplace banter where we're often giving advice or um, trying to fix things. This was really just about women of different generations, women across racial and class boundaries, sitting together and hearing each other into speech. And that was such a beautiful thing to witness. I think the biggest advice that I would give to women aspiring to be senior leaders is that they really do their own homework about who they are and what their gift is. Frederick Breuchner, who's this theologian I love, says, you have to find where your deep gladness meets the world's deep need. And that has always driven me really powerfully, sort of how can I bring my gifts to be of service to the world? And I would also advise, particularly for younger women, to find a team of mentors. It's not enough to have one mentor, right? You really need a bunch of different people who can, who can meet all of these different parts of who you are and really be generous with those mentors. I think sometimes we project our own perfectionism on our mentors and think they have to be these perfect people, but we're all flawed, beautifully flawed, and so how do we kind of work together intergenerationally to transform the workplace for all women?